It's opening night at Lehman Maupin's newest gallery, its first international exhibition space in Hong Kong. Opening night was incredible. I had no idea what to expect, but it was packed. We were shoulder to shoulder and we ran out of champagne. Kicking off the gallery launch was the debut solo exhibition by Korean artist Lee Bull. We asked Lee Bull to um, help us open the space because we felt like she was ready for an international show. Um, she's had two years of a lot of very um, rigorous museum activity, um, traveling shows, um, um, participating in, in biennials, and we felt like she was ready to go back to the studio and make some new work. I brought her here, she loved the space, and she um, immediately said yes. So it was a, a product of just kind of great timing. This work is made of polyurethane, aluminum, and paint. And um, what I love about it is this sort of this um, beautiful decaying structure. Courtney Plummer moved from New York last November to set up and run the Hong Kong Gallery. I think that Lehman Maupin adds um, a, a new and kind of fresh perspective to the contemporary art scene. Um, we're the first um, major gallery from New York to, to open in Hong Kong. We have a very, very international program. Lehman Maupin chose the historic Pedder building for its Hong Kong space, which was designed by renowned Dutch architect Rem Koolhaas and his firm OMA. We really wanted to keep the kind of integrity of the original architecture um, intact. So we actually just left the columns, the, the pillar and the cross beams raw as they were decades and decades ago when the building was built. It's really about history. I mean, it's the layers and layers and layers of time. You know, it, it, this is the original architecture and we wanted to honor that and respect it. Plywood is OMA's kind of signature material. At the time, everyone thought that using plywood in a gallery was very radical because it was a material that you didn't really see on the outside a lot. Um, and now it's become our signature. Lehman Maupin's international perspective has long extended to Asia, a vision that's paying off in a region seeing strong growth in contemporary art. Well, the first artist that we started working with from Asia is Doho Sa, who's from Korea. And we've been working with him for, I think, 12 years. And so that was kind of um, the starting point. And working with him brought us to, to Korea first and then brought us to Asia at large. And, you know, slowly but surely over the last decade, we've been building this amazing network in Asia of artists and collectors, curators, writers. So it's very much a part of our, our world and our practice doing business in Asia. There's huge potential and the possibilities are really infinite. When you talk about the market, I think that the market is, is developed, but I see it growing um, monthly pretty much. There's, you know, obviously a, a coterie of collectors that have been collecting for years, that whether it's antiquities or, or wine or um, ink drawing, but now they're branching out to contemporary art. And then what's even more exciting is that there's a newer generation, kind of a younger generation, Hong Kong collectors that are now even more engaged with contemporary art. The trend has led to the city becoming a hub for the region's art market. It's because it's such an easy place to do business, but it was also a little bit of um, an emotional reaction to the city that we love it. Being New Yorkers, we come here and we feel very much at home. Um, we love the fast pace, we love the international um, aspects of it. It's very easy to do business here, to, to move around. People love visiting, and um, I think, you know, up until recently, people saw Hong Kong as being a depot, but now it's really like a destination where people are moving here. Um, they're not just coming to visit, they're moving here to make a life or to seek other opportunities. And I think that we're, you know, part of that trend.